So on the 28th of December, it was my mom's 44th birthday. But all this time she was in Bangalore. And finally today is the day when she's returning back home. I mean like she'll be reaching after around half an hour or so. So I gotta go to the petrol pump and pick her up from there. But her birthday gift is here. And I'm gonna record her reaction after she gets this. Initially a few of my friends along with me, we planned on going for a picnic today but today only four of us are available. So we ditched the entire plan and we are making a new plan. As it is rightly said, everything happens for its good. You know my mom is coming home today and I thought if I would have gone for a picnic then that would be early in the morning. But then I, w I was coming home after a couple of months and the last time I saw my mom that was during my Diwali break. So might as well this thing got cancelled and it happened for good because I'll be seeing my mom and after I give her the birthday gift I'm gonna go and have fun. See, my mom's already calling me up. Hello? Hey, what's up? Oh, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? So that was my mom. I gotta go and pick her up from petrol pump and then come home and probably I'll talk to her for like 5 or 10 minutes and in the evening when I come back after a ride and after shooting this entire vlog I'm gonna spend a good quality time with my mother as well Here is her mom Happy birthday Thank you Thank you <laughs> well, 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 it's almost four or five days since my mom has come home and this is the day I'm starting a vlog, finally. The reason why I didn't go out that day was because by the time I got done with my lunch and with talking to mom, it was around 2.30 or 3 o'clock and in around 4 or 4.30 in the evening. It's winter so it gets very dark out here in Kalimpong. And after that I got pretty busy with household work and you know taking care of the store because like my mom was back after almost a month. So there were many things which we had to do together. That is the reason why I didn't get time and go time to go out and shoot a vlog. But finally here it is 9th of January 2020 I'm going to Lava after two long years. The last time I went to Lava it was exactly two years back and that was the time I went to shoot a vlog. Kalimpong vlog 2 if I remember. Vlog 2 or vlog 3 of Lava. So I'm pretty late. I was supposed to leave at around 10 o'clock. <laughs> Not 10 o'clock. I was supposed to leave at 9 o'clock. But it's almost 10. So without wasting much time, let's go. Something is wrong with my speedometer out here. Notice it's not working. Let's start our dream. Lava, if you folks don't know, then it is one of the coldest regions in our hometown, Kalimpong. It's gonna probably take us around one and a half hours to get there. Let's see. The time is around 10.30, I guess. So we are gonna take this right to a 12th mile and then to Algara and Lava. Lava, 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 Lava. This ladies and gentlemen is the Bhutan house of Kalimpong, this one, beyond the wall. By the looks of it, it seems you folks are in for a beautiful time lapse today. Oh yes. from Kalimpong and if you have ridden in this exact road out here itself here at around 5 o'clock or 6 o'clock in the evening 
then maybe you don't feel the way I feel, but I feel this part of Kyan Pong at that time feels very spooky. Torso ne khal ke ya, or bit haunted, you know. I don't know why. Maybe too much of Bollywood movies. Maybe. What you just witnessed out there—that was just a small patch of what was wrong. The worst roads were when my camera was switched off, and I couldn't let go of one of my hands from the handlebar and you know switch on the camera because the roads were that bad. And the clouds have disappeared. I was hoping to give you folks a beautiful time lapse today, but let's see whether I'll be able to or not. But thankfully, they are now constructing the road. Probably after a year, when I come back, the roads are gonna be better. Ladies and gentlemen, in the school winter morning, well, let me check. Is it morning or not? It is morning. It's exactly 12 o'clock in the afternoon. Welcome to Lava, and it's really, really, really cold. Ironic, right? After battling with cold for around a couple of hours, we have finally made it to Lava and it doesn't feel great. You know why? Because it's very cold and you are not a true Sosonian if you don't have your school muffler until this day. It's been 8 years since I finished school and I still have this and this should be around at least 12 to 13 years old this muffler which I'm wearing right now. See, I'm smoking. Pujhe <laughs> solti! The water is like really cold. I just wanted to make sure that the water was cold and it is really, really, really cold.
so this is the monastery and well i'm not entering the monastery cuz i need to open my shoe and if i go inside i'm i'm not sure whether i'm allowed to shoot a video or not so that's the reason why i'm not entering in and well i got to go home as early as possible as well cuz my mom she needs to go somewhere so you know i need to go and take care of our store now let's click one time lapse and then we'll be on our way to kalimpong finally so the ride to lava finally comes to an end and and here i am it's almost 1 o'clock and i'm heading back home so thank you so much for making me a part of the day until next time this is priyam gurung and i will see you very very soon till then take care bye bye and cheers to life thank you so much so patches like these were the ones i was referring to when i told the road is horrible it's even worse than before patches like these The bike is going left and right. 